What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger. Got my brother back to the money right here, 1K Stepper. You know what I'm saying? I haven't called you that in a long time. Yeah, yeah, have yeah, I? Yeah, you know, yeah. I've been chilling because, you know, you say I'm on the gas too much. Then we got Versatile Speed pulling up in the Toyota. Hey, Zay, what's good, man? We, Hey, man, we, we trying to set up the run, bro. We, what's up, man? We trying to put some bread in the pot type, yeah, get the bro. Toyota versus the Toyota, man. Who, Yoda who the real? Yoda, Yoda B's king, man. I'm trying to see what's good. But anyway... As you guys see by the title and the thumbnail, and if you guys have seen the last video, I told you guys that I got a check engine light on this thing. Um, went ahead and read the code, and this is what it is. So it says that it's misfiring on cylinder four, right? But then it's also a random misfire as well. So with that being said, I went ahead and pulled the plugs because that's the first thing that you should, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and look at. So let's look at the plugs. So yeah, man, uh, those are what the plugs are looking like. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and replace them. Hopefully that fixes the issue. Not 100% sure. Got versatile speed in the mix. Not 100% sure if it's gonna fix the issue. We're gonna pray that it is. Uh, the check engine light started with the exhaust leak. We had an exhaust leak um, from the, when we put the exhaust back on. Um, I drove it to the crib and the check engine light came on. So I don't know if that like fucks some shit up um, mentally with the ECU. I've let the car sit overnight with the battery unplugged, erase the code, and it still comes back. So hopefully replacing the plugs will uh, eliminate the issue. <sighs> if not, then I don't know. We're gonna go to stage uh, step two and go from there. One hour later. All right, you guys got the Motocraft joints, brand new spark plugs versus the old spark plug. All that carbon deposits is what's causing that misfire. Hopefully, replacing these joints is going to change it. All right, guys, you're going to want to make sure you check the gap on all of your spark plugs. We got a gap tester here. Stock plug is supposed to be gapped at 0 .53, 0 0.053, and that's where we're at. So we're gonna go ahead and drop them in. You're gonna do this for each and every one of them. They come pre-gapped, but you always wanna check it. All right, y'all, once you get all the spark plugs put in, make sure all the bolts are tightened down. You can go ahead and put your engine cover back on, the little uh, valve covers back on, and hop in the car and go ahead and fire it up. <sighs> it's the moment of truth right here. Clutch in. That joint's still on, let me go get the code reader. All right guys, so on a test drive right now, I had to clear the code. Um, it was still saying random misfire, so I went ahead and cleared the code on the car. Um, and now I'm taking it for a little test drive around the block, trying to get it up in the RPM band, because what was happening was I would hit 3K RPMs and um, about third gear, go ahead and switch to uh, shift to fourth and hit about 60 miles per hour. And then the check engine light would come on, it would start misfiring. So hopefully, 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 uh, this has fixed the issue. I'm not able to get it up to 60 miles per hour as of right now, of course. I'm gonna have to take the car out when I go on lunch, but so far so good, it's running pretty smooth. So hopefully it stays like that. Five minutes later. Oh, I don't know why, but it, it did it again, y'all. Um, it started misfiring again, I don't understand. Ask 
ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. All right, y'all, so as you guys saw, the car is still misfiring. It has random misfire codes. Um, I didn't reset the code, changed the spark plugs, um, and still nothing has happened. Now, I've, you know, I got a little uh, Mustang group with the homies, man. Shout out to the homies, MJ, uh, my boy, Lando, Londo, my bad champ, <laughs> my boy Londo, my boy Darius, and the other uh, other members that's in that joint, man, you know what I'm saying? I can't really remember. I'm not good at names, but shout out to y'all, bro, because you know what I'm saying? I hit the group chat and I was telling them about the misfire and stuff like that, and they've been helping me out. Um, a lot of reputable guys in that group chat, man. A lot of people who, you know, know their stuff have been around the platform for a minute, so they really understand them. Um, I was talking to them, they were saying it's a common issue. So at this point, honestly, it's probably just gonna be, you know what I'm saying, trying to chase it down. Just just like an electrical issue would be. You know, you do one thing, you try to see if it works. If it doesn't, you go on to the next step. Now with the misfire, the codes are saying that it's a random misfire, but then there's also another uh, code that says it's cylinder four, then another one that says cylinder seven. So, I don't know. I think what I'm gonna end up doing now is changing the coil packs. Um, hopefully that does something. Usually when you have a misfire, the first thing you do is, you know, check for a leak, make sure there's not like a vacuum leak or anything in the system. Then, you know, you check your spark plugs, you pull the spark plugs, see the conditions with them. As you guys seen, my spark plugs were completely um, fouled off, like, you know what I'm saying? With a whole bunch of carbon deposit and stuff like that, which will, you know, make for a misfire but as you guys saw it didn't uh fix the issue that i was currently having now at first it was saying cylinder four and only cylinder four so i was really um you know hoping that replacing the spark plug would have fixed the issue now with cylinder four if you guys don't know the firing order for a mustang i'll go ahead and put it on the screen right now um cylinder four is alongside the sidewall on the passenger side and with that being said getting that coil pack in there you kind of have to bend it and put it, it it's just it's weird um so i don't know if maybe when you know the previous owner did a tune-up even though it, the spark plugs don't look like they ever did a tune-up honestly um maybe they bent the coil pack uh too far to the point where it messed something up and now it's like kind of like touchy you know what i'm saying and that's probably why it wasn't misfiring when i went to go test drive the car or when i went to go pick it up they could have just messed up the coil pack so with that being said i'm probably just gonna go ahead and replace all eight coil packs hopefully that fixes the issue now my boy lando told me that um <laughs> he ended up doing that he swapped out the plugs he swapped out the coil packs and still having an issue he ended up having to get his i believe his ecu um reflashed which is which is crazy i don't understand like you know what i'm saying why <laughs> coyotes go through this but hopefully 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 it doesn't get to the point where i had to go do that because honestly i don't really know any coyote tuners out here in houston um, or anybody that really works on coyotes because as you guys know, I'm a Camaro dude I've come from a v6 Camaro and then went to a v8 Camaro. So it was like Camaros is all I know You know what I'm saying j-rod um, HP tuners uh, uh, Houston House of power all of them, you know, what I'm saying all are you know LS people and stuff like that They definitely venture off into the other platforms, but they're mainly LS people So I don't really know that many coyote uh, people out here in the H if you guys do go ahead and drop them in the comment section down below or if you can recommend a good coyote tuner um I've definitely been looking into Palm Beach Dino. I've been looking into Lund, but you know, Lund is going through that whole little ordeal with the EPA on trying to, you know what I'm saying? Them trying to shut them down. That's why we don't have end gauges no more. Like they're not making them. You can still get one, but you definitely gonna get taxed <laughs> for that joint. And it could also come uh, paired to somebody else's car. So then you just got taxed on the end gauge. And now on top of that, you have to go ahead and try to get the car unpaid get the end gauge unpaired from the previous person's car and then pr and then pair it to your car so like <clears throat> it's a whole bunch of stuff going on with the end gauges and stuff like that i might end up going sct but let's not talk about the tuning stuff right now man honestly i hope that after i swap out these coil packs that'll fix the issue if not 
then we'll look into, you know, getting the ECU reflashed or whatever the case may be. Now, with all that being said, man, that's actually going to do it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications because I'm telling you, I got a whole bunch of bangers coming your way, man. A whole bunch of videos. Um, minor setback for a major comeback. Don't even worry about it. I'm not tripping, bro. All of these little maintenance things that I'm doing, it's good to do them now at the beginning of ownership and then not really have to worry about them as much going down the line with the ownership so with that being said man that's gonna do it for this video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button turn on those post notifications like i said give this video a big thumbs up and if you know any coyote people mustang people in houston reputable tuners whatever the case may be drop it in the comment section down below man because i do read the comments and i am looking for a new tuner but that being said that's gonna be it for this one i will see you guys in the next one peace